Welcome to the homework for lesson 19. It's module 2 of grade 1. Write your name on here first. And it says complete the subtraction sentences by using the take from 10 strategy and count on. So where you see the number bonds, like in the first one here, that's where we're going to take from 10. And then here where it says 8 plus, we're going to count on from one part to see how many it takes to get to the whole. And the number path up here is there to help you figure out, is there to help you count on. And I'll show you how to use it if you don't remember. So the take from 10 strategy, here's 12. I need a 10 to take from, right? So it's 10, 2. And it's 10, 2 because... 10 plus 2 makes 12. Those are the two parts. Take the 8. We can't take 8 from 2, so we have to take it from 10. When we do, there will only be 2 left, because that's what's left when you take 8 away from 10. And then we just add the two parts. Add together what's left. The 2 plus the 2, that's 4. And I'll even write a little 2 plus 2 equals 4. And remember this trick, this is a mental trick. When you see you're subtracting 8, you know you're going to have 2 plus whatever that 1's digit is. So you can look at that right away and say, oh, that's uh, that's a 2, so it's 4 left. And now we're going to count up from the 8. So this is going to be counting on. So 8, and we're going to 12. So 8, it's 1, 2, 3, 4. 8 plus 4. <laughs> And I'll erase this because I'm going to use it again. 15 is 10, 5. I'm going to subtract the 8 from the 10. I'll have 2 left. And so now I'm looking at the 2 plus the 5, right? Because there's that one's digit. That one's digit. That's a 5. I'm going to add 2 to that. That's going to be 6, 7. And now we're going to count up from 8 to 15. Now, it's going to take more counting than before. 8 and 12 aren't that far apart, but 8 and 15 are. So there's going to be a little more counting. So starting with the 8, we go, we're going to count up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. It took us 7 more numbers. And you should have the same answer either way. Because they both go for the same number bond, 15. If one part is 8... The other is 7. Whether you're adding them or taking the whole apart, you're going to have 7 for the other part if 15 is the whole and 8 is one of the parts. Choose the count on strategy or the take from 10 strategy to solve. So uh, I recommend that if the numbers are close, count on. But if they're not close, then take from 10. So 11 and 8, they're pretty close. So we're going to count up from 8. That would be 9, 10, 11. That's three numbers, so our answer is 3. And that's how I show counting on. I just write down the numbers I counted up. And you can see, if you have to count up a lot of numbers, you've got to write down a lot of numbers. It's going to be a lot of work. Uh, when the numbers are far apart, counting up is, is difficult. Uh, so 17 and 8 are not very close. So 17 is a 10, 7. And I know I'm going to have 2 left when I take 8 away from that 10. So I have to add the 2 plus the 7. And that's going to get me 9. Now it says use a number bond to show how you solved using the take from 10 strategy. Elsie counted 16 worms on the pavement. Eight worms crawled into the dirt. How many worms did Elsie still see on the pavement? So 16 and 8, are they're really too far apart to count up. I mean, you could do it, but it's going to be more work than taking from 10. So it's faster, easier, and a better chance of, getting, of not making a counting mistake and getting the right, and a better chance of getting the right answer, too. 
for taking for 10 on this one. So 16 is 10, 6. And we know when we take 8 away from the 10, there's going to be 2 left. So that's, right, subtract 8 from 10. We could write the whole thing out, 10 minus 8 equals 2. That's how we got that 2 right there. And then we're going to say that 2 plus the other, plus the 6 that's left. We're just putting the leftovers back together again. That's 8, so there's 8 left. And Elsie still saw 8 worms on the pavement. And there's the thinking, the like little smiley math guy. These are the thoughts in his head. This is what he's thinking. He wrote it out in words. If I subtract 8 from the 10, just as I did in my example, then I'll have 2 and 6 left, and 2 and 6 make 8. Number 6. John ate 8 orange slices. If he started with 13, how many orange slices does he have left? I'm going to use the take from 10 on this one. 13 minus 8 equals 13 is 10, 3. When I take 8 away from the 10, I'll have 2 left. 2 plus 3 equals 5. John has 5 orange slices left. Well, this is more minus 8s. Match the addition number sentence to the subtraction number sentence. And fill in the missing numbers. So on the left side here, we've got lots of minus 8s. And over here we have 8 pluses. So for all of these, we're just finding the missing parts. Right, we have our, our holes, right? This 12, and we have a hole here of 12. So without even knowing what the missing part is, we have, as long as the holes are the same, it's, well, we know that 12 is going to match up there. This has a hole of 15 with 8, one of the parts, so this, this one's going to match up there. This has a hole of 18, and this addition sentence has a hole of 18, so those are going to match up. And this has a hole, subtraction has a hole of 11, and this addition one up here has a hole of 11. So that's how they're going to match up. And now we just got to figure out what the missing numbers are. If we figure out one, we'll know what its um, related addition sentence is. So 12 minus 8. Those are close enough. We could count it up probably. But I like this too. 10, 2. Right? And that's 2 plus 2 is 4. And if that one's 4, then the related addition sentence, the missing part, has to also be 4. 8 plus 4 is 12. 12 minus 8 equals 4. Those are related. So the missing part has to be 4 for both of them. 15 minus 8. 15 is 10, 5. Eight, 10 minus 8 is 2. So we have 2 plus that 5. Going to have 7 left. And that means this 15, there's the related addition sentence here. So that part, missing part was 7. This missing part also has to be 7. And we have 18. That's 10, 8. Now this is a case where if you're paying attention, you're like, wow, there's an 8 right there. I can take 8 away from 8, can I? And you'd be right. And what do you have left? 10. So 8 plus 10, 18. And 11 minus 8, this one you can count up. 9, 10, 11, that's three numbers. So 8 plus 3 is 11.